Hello and welcome back to the Cannabis Sommelier. I'm your host, Andrew Friedman. Thanks for joining me for a cannabis extract review. I'm really excited that we have cannabis extracts back in Canada and that I have some great friends who are making them, uh, growing them with their allowed for plants and sharing them. Legal rosin, how cool is that? If you were here from the start of the channel, you'll remember that I used to do all my pairings with extracts and only extracts and as soon as legalization happened October 17th 2018 I shifted to reviewing legal cannabis just to make sure that I was playing within all of the rules. Now we've come to a point where we can finally have these craft extracts again and some of these producers uh, from that legacy market I'm lucky to have built friendships with and have them share phenomenal phenomenal products with me which is great. I love legalization in Canada super super cool. What's the first one we are going to try? I have two today. We're going to do two of these new reviews and see how they go. I was just in Vancouver for Lift & Co conference and I was finally able to meet a very cool gentleman. I had done quite a few reviews of his rosin in the past and it was really great to finally meet. Um, it's melt season. If you're from the show, I did a lot of great things with melt season. He's a phenomenal rosin maker it does a lot of collabs with a lot of big wonderful companies in Canada so we have our label says Sunday driver 120u and let's just break that down a little bit so Sunday driver is a genetic from Canarado uh, genetics that went to jungle boys and that's where it became really really popular as soon as it was uh, jungle boy then it was one of these really big hype strains and what is the build of it? It is Fruity Pebble OG from Alien Genetics and then a grape pie. And it has just all these wonderful fruits and gases and all that great stuff. All the terps that I really, really like um, are in here. So I've been waiting to open this and make sure that I opened it and could review it. So that's the strain. We have the producer melt season. And then you can see that it says 120U. And if you're not familiar with hashes or rosins, especially hash rosins or hashes, um, that might make absolutely no sense to you. And when we're making hash, there are uh, silk screen sizes. Generally, they start 190, 150, and then you get to the, your 120U and your 90U. Then you have a 75, a 60, a 50, and a 25, but or 73U, sorry. Uh, but that 120 to 90U section of um, screening is where you get the most mature heads. So your 120U, and this is just, a, I assume this is just a straight 120U pull of this, uh, very specific. A lot of people blend their 93U and their 120U to get a larger um, output, but very interesting to see the 120U. And I'd really like to do some tasting uh, differences to see if a 93 you would taste different than a 120U because of the size of the glandular head. Would be a very, very interesting experiment to find out. So you can see in the bottom, we've got a nice, wet, delicious rosin, nice and white, absolutely fantastic. Let's dig in to the nose. You can see there, I'll get a nice closer video. You can see how bright and white it is. I believe this is a cured hash rosin. Mm. And on the nose, the first layer is like this almost creamy, herbaceous gas that could only be related to... Mm. This one's quite confusing because it's very complex. There's a layer of white flowers, there's a layer of gas, there's a layer of skunk, there's a layer of fruitiness. Mm, absolutely delicious, super complex, um, which is great and just kind of wet. We'll break it up a little with my dab tool here and see if that'll release some aromas so I can really get on point with those. Mm. If I was going to relate it to something, it would be almost sweet lemongrass, petrol, um, some very fresh, delicious earth that has some fruits, some tree fruits, uh, some black 
and red tree fruits falling in it, some plum, some blackberry, some blueberry, but very creamy as well. Mmm, very interesting aromas. But a medium plus exaggeration of, or, uh, it's a medium plus expression of the aroma. Sorry for my stutter. Very delicious, smells very fresh, smells very nice and new and loved for. So I've got my Puffco Peak here. We're gonna load it in the Puffco Peak and see how it tastes. We'll get about that big of a dab in there. But a bing. You see it is it's a big one, but it's not a small one. Or it's a small one and a big one. Anyways, let's put make sure this is on the right temperature. We're gonna put it on medium, on green, and let's fire it up. This is really great to be able to go back and do these um, types of videos. I'm really excited to be putting out more raws and education, more hash education, because there's a lot of verbiage and vocabulary in there that gets quite confusing. So already this lesson on 120U versus 93 is fantastic. Mm. It really translates well. I have a quartz insert in here, but the flavor really translates well from what I was smelling. That creamy lemongrass, there's a taste of ginger, there's some citrus, there's some petrol. It's very mouth coating, it's very mouth filling. And delicious. How can you complain about something like that? <coughs> Big vapor clouds on green. Tasty, confectionery, a little bit of herbs, gas, everything that you could really ask for in cannabis, I guess. That's why this genetic is so famous, sent to a very famous extractor, why it's made its way around the world. I totally understand. I really like the Sunday Driver. Thank you Melt Season for the wonderful gift. I really appreciate it. I hope for anybody watching, we helped clarify a few things. I should mention that this hash was made from cured cannabis. Um, so it's not a live rosin, but it's just a hash rosin. Absolutely fantastic. Make sure to like, comment, share, and most importantly subscribe so you can see all the new videos coming out. Always working on lots of content. I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Till next time, cheers. What's my name? What's my name? The Cannabis Somalier